Hey, good morning. This is May Vilensky with Driving Markets. I hope you're well. Um, as I mentioned on Friday, I expected the Dow to fall 600 points, which it did. So that was a very, very lucky guess by my part. And anyone who went short on Friday, hopefully would have made some money. Uh, where do we go from here? The markets overnight are down, as I mentioned yesterday. Um, and we've had several messages that expect the markets to fall further. Why are they gonna fall further? Very, very simple. You've got two major concerns which have gone over again, which is the fear of the pandemic and the impact it will have on the economy. And overall, you've got underlying rising inflation, which is gonna push interest rates even higher. So all the euphoria of last week, which when the Fed came out and said they're only gonna increase interest by three times in 2022, and as a result, the markets went up. It was a bit of a relief rally saying, whew, that one's over, thank God for that. The fear came back within one day and said, well, hold on, is that gonna be enough? Inflation's still there. What's gonna happen? How are we gonna, how are we gonna sort it, how are we gonna work this out? And of course, the pandemic has a further impact. So you can expect extreme volatility in markets over the run up to Christmas. I would have thought there would have been a rally, but uh, since Omicron has really dampened everyone's feelings and it looks like there's going to be more and more countries in a lockdown then that could have an impact or will have an impact on companies that are selling and producing in the economy overall and as a result that is dampening people's appetite for investment so you're looking to have uh, probably further falls up until christmas and after christmas until it's absolutely clear what is the what is the effect of the variant is it deadly is it not deadly does it put people in hospital? Doesn't it put people in hospital? We simply don't know the moment. And that unknown is driving markets down. So the markets are going down until further notice. Um, so uh, the chance of a rally towards the end of the year looks a bit remote at the moment. Uh, what would I do at this stage? My opinion, my suggestion is, would take out some shorts on the market through CFD auth and put options if you need any help on that you can contact me i'd be more than happy to assist you and guide you as to which platform would be the most appropriate for yourself um, as regards cryptos you can expect cryptos also short term to fall off simply because cryptos are now part of the overall investment um, arena within the world and therefore if assets are falling you'd expect cryptos to fall and people could be pulling money out of cryptos so you're probably looking at a further fall in the crypto market going forward an um, interesting one is tesla tesla closed on friday at about 931 dollars um, wow you could see tesla falling further to about 850 so that might be an interesting one to look at and then maybe pick it up between 800 and 850 and uh, depends on where the market's at but that's looking um, overbought recently so therefore it's some profit taking there and um, it probably pulled back some what those people are invested in Tesla uh, you may want to look to pick up some more stock at a low level um, I do believe that overall markets are looking for a significant fall in my opinion um, okay that's only my opinion but um, I'm a bit extreme and I can see markets falling anywhere between 30 and 40 percent in 2022 um, call me extreme I'm probably uh, one of the very 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 outsiders as far as financial markets are concerned but I do believe we're in for a significant fall um, let's see where it goes you can contact me on LinkedIn on WhatsApp on uh, Instagram uh, you can comment on this YouTube um, this is May Valensky with Driving Markets. Have a good day.